Welcome to our workshop for today. I am Kuya Tirso Cesar Pons. I'm from MFC Singles in Italy. I'm in the community for 20 years now. I have served the community as a European Mission Volunteer for 10 years and I served mostly in Italy. Before we continue our workshop, I encourage you to get your notebook and pen. I pray that some of the ideas you will hear in this workshop can change your life. The title of our workshop is Be a Jomo, J-O-M-O, -O, not a FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. We should understand first the meaning of these two trends. What is FOMO, F-O-M-O? -O? FOMO is the fear of missing out. It has been a topic in the mainstream media for many years. In one study, they found that the younger generation is extremely stressed, anxious, and depressed. The core reason is that we compare every aspects of our lives to other people. And the major source of this is the social media, the internet. We compare ourselves to our friends or what they are posting on Instagram, how many views and likes they have, and so on. What is Jomo? Jomo means the joy of missing out. It is the antithesis and the logical response to FOMO. You may be wondering uh, where the word or this phenomenon came from. In summer of 2018, there was an article released by the New York Times and uh, for the first time, the word JOMO, the joy of missing out, appeared. Now, I will be giving you some tips. Here are the six tips to be a JOMO. Number one, simplify your life. Many years ago, my mentor told me, life is simple. Don't make your life complicated. Shout out to my mentor, Ray Joseph Soro. He's from the other side of the world. Uh, maybe he's watching right now. Simplify your life. Means, cut the things that are not essential to you. Just like the lessons we have learned in this pandemic. Let me share to you how I simplify my life. More than 10 years ago, uh, I gave up watching television. Yes, you heard it right. Um, I gave up watching television. And you know, uh, I'm still alive and I'm still joyful. Since in my early 20s, I haven't uh, watched any series or seasons of any kind. So in short, I have saved two to three hours or even a night just to watch this. But I don't deny the fact that I also watch some good movies such as Avengers. Uh, why do I say this? Because I carefully uh, select the movies I watch or let my mind take in. I'm not telling you not to watch series but I'm reminding you to mindfully select, to save time for other important things in your life. As I said earlier, I save two to three hours every single day by giving up watching the television. Let me give you some example, okay? Two hours a day, uh, two hours a day of watching television is times 365 days for, or, or one year is equals to 730 hours. 730 hours okay so for in one year i save 730 hours by giving up watching television so 730 hours so times 10 years is 7300 hours for short um i save my life 7000 300 hours by just giving up uh, watching television. 
So, over the past years, many youths came to me and asked me how I managed to do many things or how did I develop those skills that I have right now. But what struck me the most was when they told me, uh, Kuya, I'm so bored at home and, you know, I don't know what to do in my spare time. Uh, actually, I, I never answered those questions. Uh, so here, I am revealing to you where my 7,000 plus hours or more than goes. There are three things I did. Letter A is read, letter B is practice, and letter C is serve. Letter A, read. Uh, when I graduated in high school, I have never read any good book. Uh, I will be honest, you know, uh, I'm so embarrassed to share that to you. I remember, you know, admiring people who read books, but you know, there's a hopeful whisper in my heart that someday I wanted uh, also to read good books. And uh, way back then, if you ask me who's my favorite author, uh, I can give you any answer. Uh, let me show you this book. Okay. This is the very first book I've read. The Green Hills of Africa of Ernest Hemingway. Uh, let's uh, make a fast forward right now. Right now, I read uh, good amounts of books and I have a good library and I am happy. This is one of the things where my 7,000 plus hours uh, of free time of giving up my watching TV goes. I encourage you to read because it will help you to grow. Uh, it will increase your creativity. It is good for your brain. And uh, there are many benefits of reading. You know, uh, it is not too late. Uh, begin to read today, not tomorrow, today. Begin to read your first book in your library today. Okay? Begin today. The second thing I did or the letter B is practice. I also put time in practicing of what I have learned from my reading. I also practice every skill that I have, such as playing instruments and uh, visual arts. The third thing I did, or the letter C, is serve. We read and practice not for personal use only, okay? But to offer it to the one who gave those gifts to us. If you want to sharpen your gifts, use it in service. Serve God. Serve the community. God will bless the work of your hands. Actually, you multiply the gifts by sharing it. There is joy in serving if your heart is in the right place. The second tip to be a Jomo is be grateful for what you have. All the things that you have, those gifts, those talents and skills, they are all came from God. And to be grateful for it means we need to cultivate those gifts. We need to be faithful in those gifts. And as the Bible says, it will make a room for us. St. John the 23rd said, Be protectors of God's gifts, and it's our duty to protect them. The third tips how to be a Jomo is don't compare your life to others. We are not here on earth to compare our lives to others, but we are here to live our lives for God. This is one of the reasons of being FOMO or fear of missing out. Why younger generations is extremely stressed than the older generation. When we compare uh, ourselves to other people, deep inside us, it pulls us down, right? So we don't recognize anymore those blessings around us. Instead of comparing, be inspired. Be inspired to work harder. Be inspired to study harder. Tips number four, 
to be a Jomo. Enjoy the moment where you are right now. There are reasons why you are exactly where you are right now. I know that all of you are from different countries, but believe me, you are there for a purpose and you have a mission, so you need to take action. Years back, I don't want to go here in Italy because I had different plans for myself. But God's plans, so much better than my plans. Right now, as I look back, God was right. I am where He wants me to be. And with Him, I have been doing greater things than what I have expected to do for myself. The fifth tips to be a Jomo is have time for reflection and prayer. One of my favorite authors said, reflection is like replaying the tapes again. It is a moment when we pause and think about our relationship with God and uh, the other people around us. Reflection will help us to, to know our priorities. Reflection will help us to understand the things, especially when we accompany it with our prayer time. Through prayer, we build our relationship with God, the source of our joy. Especially in our daily reading, in our prayer time, we post, reflect, and listen of what God is telling us through the scriptures. Let me share my prayer time. I begin the reading of the day in the morning. Before I go to bed at night, um, I have a short reflection of the day. Then I read a chapter in the Gospel. Reading the Gospel helps me to reflect about the life of Jesus. For example, after I finished the book of John or the book of Mark or the book of Matthew or Luke, uh, I need to pause for maybe one to seven days to absorb of what God is telling me. And then I begin again. It, it is like a preparation for another retreat with God. Reflection and prayer goes together. You cannot have one without the other. As Saint Jose Maria Escriva said, prayer is the foundation of the spiritual edifice. Prayer is all powerful. In the Gospel, you will see the importance of prayer in the life of Jesus. He was in constant connection with the Father through prayer. We can only hear the voice of God in silence. The one common denominator of all saints, they are all prayerful. You will never find a saint who doesn't pray. Number six, and the last tips, how to be a chong. Receive the holy sacraments of confession and the Eucharist. The holy sacraments are like gasoline for our spiritual life so that we can continue to journey with Christ. In all the trials and joy of life, we must unite ourselves to Jesus, for He is our foundation and He is our rock. Saint Padre Pio of Pietralcina once said, The earth could exist more easily without the Son than without the holy sacrifice of the Mass. We need to understand this. We cannot do it alone. We need the help of our Mother Mary, and she will always lead us to Jesus. Jesus is our joy, and we can only find the true peace in Him. This is my challenge for you. Brothers and sisters, you heard many things in this workshop. The truth is, there is joy of missing out. Right now, I'm asking you to write three things that you need to change or you need to work on beginning today, not tomorrow. We need to begin today. Maybe you wrote a lot of things in your notes. Just highlight three things to take action. You know, I failed many times. I'm like you. I'm still learning and relearning all these things we talk about in this workshop. If you fail, 
with the help of God, it is Jesus who will encourage you to begin again and try one more time. Because following Jesus is not easy. I'm praying maybe one, one day or next year or maybe in the next 10 years, I hope I will be able to talk to all of you and listen to your Jomo story. I will be really inspired to hear your stories. As we conclude this workshop, in our time, we are taught to follow the crowd, to follow where the river flows. But we were anointed by God to go against the flow and to set this world on fire. The saints we have, they gave an example for us. They don't follow what the world dictates. Instead, they follow God obediently. They stand and again and again and again. They persevere until the very last. Even the world was against them. In life, God gave us choices. You are the only one who can decide if you want to be a Jomo or FOMO. Choose wisely because we are made for greatness and with Christ we will do greater things for He is our rock.